Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to show you the Antonia 4 MB configurable memory upgrade for the Atari XL and XE computers. This upgrade was made by Jacek from Poland. It's a 4 MB memory upgrade, configurable memory, and it also replacing your 6502 with a 65816 processor. It's a piggy bag board does not require any soldering just take out the processor assuming your computer comes already uh, with sockets on it remove this processor remove u18 and the nmu and just plug in this board now this is a 600 xl computer so it originally came with 16k ram in order for this upgrade memory to fit in i had to upgrade it for first to 64k so i had to change the dram from 16k to 64K and just do three more wiring uh, on the board and I got 64K and then just plug in the Antonio board and turn on the computer. So let's see how you can configure the memory. Let's put in the software, the configuration tool for the upgrade. Okay, so you can see this is the configuration tool for the Antonia 4 megabyte upgrade board. You have eight different memory upgrade screen schemes that you can configure the board to be set to. A stock 64K 800 Excel machine, a 130XE, 130XE, 128K RAM, a Karen 192K RAM, Rambo 256, Rambo 320k CompuShop, the European uh, upgrade for uh, 576k, a Rambo 1 megabyte scheme, or the Axelon 2 megabyte or 4 megabyte. So you just simply can just select the mode of extra memory you uh, banking scheme you would like the uh, board to be set to. You can also set, you can also upload different custom ROM, OS ROM and basic ROMs into this board and select the uh, slot that you want to uh, preset the Atari to operate on. So let's see how it works. If you go to the uh, flasher tool and you can see there are eight slots. You can load OS and basic to the, to the different eight slots and select the uh, slot that you would like the Atari to operate on. So let's go to slot number seven and select load. Let's load the OS. I think on drive two, I have the Omnimon OS. So I can load the Omnimon OS here. So I'm actually taking the ROM file from the Omnimon of the Omnimon and uploading it to the buffer of slot number seven. And I can also load basic, a different version of basic, basic version C, or I can load the Altera basic into slot number seven. And I can do that for the remain of the other slots here. And later, every time I want to change the OS uh, or change basic, I don't have to open the computer and change the chips. I just go into the configuration and set another slot uh, that I would like the computer to be operated on. Once I uploaded all the memory, all the slots to the, with the various uh, ROMs, I can just do push the letter F and flash the Antonia uh, with the new ROMs on it. I already did it before, so it's already been preset to my preferred uh, operating system and basic. And um, and that's it. Uh, that's the Antonia memory upgrade. To see its power, let's try and uh, load um, a disk 
uh, or a demo that require extra memory and enjoy. Let's look at this number four. I think I have here the Boogie Night demo require extra memory. You can also create a big RAM disk here and just format it with the extra memory that you have. So Boogie Night detected that I'm set to 576 kilobytes of extra memory. And if I'm satisfied with the auto detection, I can just push space and continue. Yeah, we can sit back when it's finished loading and enjoy this wonderful demo that was uh, presented in 2012 at the Silly Venture uh, Atari party in uh, Poland.